The Internet of Additive Manufacturing System is a combination of the principles of the Internet of Things and the additive manufacturing methods to provide a new type of smart machine. This system provides new features in comparison with conventional additive manufacturing machines. For example, it allows to control 3D printers from a PC, tablet, or smartphone over a wireless internet connection. In an industrial environment, a rack of 3D printers can be configured, controlled, and monitored by a single operator and by multiple users concerned in a manufacturing process, such as the operators and engineers who can supervise the fabrication process. Finally, the system allows the operator to establish their own printing parameters for each layer to improve the printing process. Those values can be optimized during the fabrication. VAT photopolymerization is an additive manufacturing method where a digital light projector is used as a source of UV light to solidify a whole cross-sectional area of the 3D model in a resin placed in a vat. The build process can be formed in three steps for each layer. The first is when the build platform moves down to create a thin film of the resin. Then, the cross-section of a layer of the 3D model is displayed on the resin for a period of time. Finally, the build platform moves up to continue the process to complete the whole 3D model. The Internet of Additive Manufacturing System is equipped with three software. Creation Workshop, a packaging software, and the Internet of Additive Manufacturing web interface. Creation Workshop is used to slice the 3D model into a set of photo masks that contain the cross-section for each individual layer of the 3D model. The first step is to import the STL file that will be printed and then press the slicing button. As the result, the object has been sliced into layers. The packaging software aims to combine the set of photo masks and printing parameters saved in a .txt file into a zip file. Therefore, the photo mask must be imported into the software. The slider bar can be used to see the individual layers of the photo mask. Then the script file which contains the default values of the printing parameters must be selected. A picture of the 3D model can also be added to the file. Finally, all the information is saved into a single file by pressing the zip file button. The Internet of Added Manufacturing web interface is used to configure, control, and monitor the manufacturing process. It is opened by typing the IP address for the machine into the web browser. As a result, the login page is shown where the user must create a username and enter a password to log in. The load slash select item must be selected from the menu. Then, click on the load the zip file to print option, choose the file, and click on the cloud shape button to submit the zip file to the machine. Next, click on the select the model to print option, and choose the model that will be printed. Finally, press the OK button to open the printing process interface. In order to start the manufacturing process, the start button must be pushed and as a result the build platform starts moving down until it creates a thin layer of the resin. Then the platform moves up and down to build each layer of the 3D model. As the process begins, the process can be monitored through a webcam, and all the fields on the screen are updated, such as the layer number, printing parameters from the text file, and also the photo mask for the current layer is displayed. However, as explained before, the Internet of Additive Manufacturing System allows for modification of the default printing parameters during the printing process. 
As the cross-sectional area is getting smaller, those parameters can be optimized to speed up the process. For example, the speed and distance that the platform moves upwards is changed from 2,500 to 5,000 steps per second and 4,000 to 3,000 micrometers respectively. The new values can be used for the rest of the printing process or they can be disabled at any time by pushing the overwrite button again. Finally, the model can be removed from the build platform to begin the post-processing stage 